Hi there. In this video, we will see how to use passwordless sign in option for AWS Cognito. So let's create a user pool for public client. And uh, then navigate to sign in. Here we can see option for choice with sign in. And here passwordless status is inactive now. I can edit this option, but if you have uh, YAMIFA enabled, then you will not be able to edit. So disable YAMIFA if it's enabled, like uh, if I so. So if I enable YAMIFA, then this option will be disabled. So I will disable the YAMIFA and then edit it. And uh, I have uh, three passwordless sign in available. ESMS which uses uh, ESNS and AWS pinpoint. I have email which uh, uses SES and also uses Cognito. So if I use Cognito as email provider then I can send maximum 50 emails per day. If I use SES then there is unlimited limit means uh, that limit depends on limit of your uh, SES uh, quota of SES and uh, one more option which we have now is passkey which is added uh, recently in uh, around November 2024. Let's select these two options and save the changes. Now if I go to my manage login page and uh, create new account. Now after login, uh, I am seeing option to add a passkey, if I not add now and uh, if I log in again, this time instead of password, it's uh, sending me OTP because we enable passwordless login and email feature is enabled. And this is the code that I got in email. Notice that uh, during sign up, I got six digit code, but be, uh, but uh, while signing using email, I am getting eight digit code. And uh, continue. Again, let's try to log in. Sign in as different users. I have another options as well. So either I can use email OTP, or if I want, I can even use password also. So this is it. That's how we can use new passwordless options in Cognito. Thank you.